In the history of um, decorative arts and of jewelry, there's always this reoccurring theme based on archeological finds. So thinking about that, I'm talking a little bit today about Egyptian revival. Um, in the Victorian period, there was one Egyptian revival. It was inspired by, um, I think the Suez Canal opening and other finds they were making in the time period, which also overlap with like the Etruscan revival. And it was all about what they were digging up and what they were finding in the earth and how it affected people's minds and outlooks and trends of the time period. So then there's another very big, very famous Egyptian revival in 1922 when they opened King Tut's tomb. Um, and that captured the fantasy and the imagination of the public. Um, it's kind of a reoccurring theme though, because it has some really beautiful motifs in the design. Um, I'm wearing two pieces. I'm gonna take this one off because it's, I love it. So this is one, it has a faience scarab and faience is a type of pottery. And it actually, this piece is a scarab and then it has the little eyes that are out of rubies. And then it has little lotus blossoms that drop. The flowers are also lotuses that are set with diamonds. Um, and it has these tiny little bows, but it all has like a very Egyptian feel. Sometimes you find pieces with onks. Um, this one doesn't have any onks, but it has the lotus and the scarab, the faience scarab. Then in the deco period, you find more of this. The faience scarab, but that is stained blue. Uh, this also has a lotus, blo lotus blossom. I can't talk. And this is a bracelet. This is set in silver. And then I'm gonna have later, this is more from like the 1960s, 70s, multi-gem carved bracelet, as I'm trying to untangle these things. And it has tiger's eye, and it has bloodstone and lapis and all these other stones, and they're all carved to look like scarabs, which, you know, I think are eternal life or something. Um, famously, Tiffany in the 1920s and 19-teens, Lewis Comfort Tiffany did a bunch of these scarabs out of glass and he mounted them and the pieces of jewelry made from that time period are very rare and very expensive. This is not one of those. This is Tiffany and this is um, one of those glass beetles, but it was mounted later, probably in the 80s where they, they found a bunch of these um, beetles and they decided to mount them up, but they're in silver. They tend to be pretty simple, the mountings. These are more common, you see them everywhere, but you can see that, well, not, maybe not everywhere, but you can see how pretty it is. It's a beautiful turquoise gleaming kind of co mixed with a cobalt blue kind of color. It's really pretty do that okay and so then i also brought you i have these really cool cufflinks that are also faience scarabs also egyptian revival and kind of my favorite piece that we have right now is this it is a swag necklace i'm gonna try to put you right there it's a swag necklace it's with um lapis scarabs it has the wings of isis and it's done in a swag which is this kind of open work drape it tend, it's kind of on the short side. I mean, I have a bigger neck, but honestly, it is probably about a 15 inch. Um, but all these pieces are made in the Egyptian revival and they float, they're so light. Um, it has this beautiful frame with these tiny little lotus blossoms on it. And it's just a really good example. When you're talking about Egyptian revival, this is really a traditional classic example. It's not bastardized in any way. Um, no offense, Tiffany but this is just really classic and simple and it's kind of a collector's piece. 